Hey, what's going on YouTube? Um, this is our home gym and we would like to give you guys a tour, show you everything that we have, uh, everything that we've been building up to this point, how long we've been doing it for. And without further ado, I'll start off with the foundation of the gym. These are four by six, three quarters inch horse stall mats from Tractor Supply. Uh, if you talk to any person with a home gym, I feel like the majority of consensus will say that horse stall mats are the best gym flooring that you can get. Um, right over here, we have the Rogue Abram GHD 2.0. Um, this is a piece that we bought secondhand from a gym owner who decided to upgrade to a Rogue Donkey, which is a reverse hyper and GHD combo. Um, but we, so we got a good deal on this. This was $200. Seen some better days being in a public gym. Um, but you know, we're, we're gonna fix it up, replace these pads and it's gonna look pretty much brand new when we're done with it. Uh, we've had it for a while though, so not a priority right now. Uh, right here is our power rack. This is a Bells of Steel Residential 4.1, made of 14 gauge steel with 2.3 by 2.3 upright, 5 8 inch holes, but they do not have the west side hole spacing. Um, it's a good budget rack, uh, it's $3.99 shipped to your door. Comes with a bare steel pull up, straight pull up bar, J cups and pin pipe safeties. Also comes with weight storage. So I would say it's a good value really uh, for this rack. This might be a rack that you, wanna, that you would wanna upgrade down the road, uh, but for my intended use and I mean, I'm, I'm pretty content with it so far. On the back of it, we have a lap pull down, low row uh, attachment. I believe this was 250. So for 650, you can get this and the rack. Um, with free shipping. So that's, that's actually a really good deal from Bells of Steel. Um, right over here, we have our Rep Fitness Adjustable Bench uh, 4000, AB 4000, 4100, I'm sorry. Um, goes from zero to 85 degrees. Uh, very sticky pad, 17 inches off of the floor. Uh, so pretty much comp standards with the tripod design as well. And an adjustable bench, so that's a big plus. So yeah, really good value for this, $399. Um, right up top over here, sitting on our roller J-cups from Bells of Steel, uh, is the Rogue Ohio Power Bar. Um, every power lifter knows about the Rogue Ohio Power Bar. Uh, tried and true bar. Um, got this off of Facebook for $150, so pretty good deal. And yeah, you know, I've seen some, seen, got some good uses out of it, got some good sessions. Seen a 500 pound squat, 600 deadlift, so yeah, I'm, I'm proud to have this bar right here. This is a dirty, <laughs> no, it's not dirty. <laughs> this is a Titan Fitness HPND, uh, pretty much a clone of the Rogue Z Hyper. Um, it's a good reverse hyper, uh, it's good quality, and yeah, we got this off of Facebook for 350. Uh, some guy was just trying to unload it. Cause, you know, a lot of people, they don't really use their reverse hypers like that, but they get some pretty good use out of me. Um, right over here is our weight tree. This is from True Grit. It holds six bars and lots of, uh, lots of weights that, you know, you can be able to put on. Uh, these are competition kilos from Hansu Power, uh, IPF approved plates. Uh, really good deal, honestly. Like if you're looking for a power lifting place, I would say this should be like a first option for you guys. Um, they're all pretty much the same, but this is a lot cheaper than the competitors. We also have right over here, this is a new bar. This is a 29 millimeter Texas Power Bar in black Cerakote, a true stiff bar from Texas Power Bar. Um, not like their old bar, which was 28 and a half millimeters in diameter in the shaft. And also had a thicker collar, uh, kind of similar to the deadlift bar. Yeah, it was just, you know, night and day difference really. But yeah, this is a super, super nice bar. Mountain knurling, it's very aggressive. You just grip onto it, right? And you can just see how aggressive that is. So that's really nice. This is a Kabuki Cadillac bar, the king of multi-grip bars. Um, got this off of Facebook Marketplace for $300. Guy gave me a great deal, I couldn't say no. Went, drove an hour, pick it up, put it in my trunk, came home with it. This is a Texas deadlift bar, same knurling as the power bar, as I mentioned before, 
but smaller in diameter at 27 millimeters and super whippy if you're using deadlifts. I wouldn't recommend this for anything other than deadlifts. But yeah, this is in purple Cerakote. Pretty, it's my favorite bar really. The, the purple is so, so nice. Um, we have in the back, Titan Fitness Safety Squat Bar Volume 2. Um, this is a very nice bar for the money. Uh, $2.99 I believe, I'm not sure. But pretty much a clone of the Elite FTS SS Yoke but at like $200 cheaper, I believe. And they also take Olympic collars, not like the Elite FTS one. Uh, super comfortable pad. It's a really great bar for, you know, just a specialty bar. Um, this is our first bar right here. This is a Bells of Steel Bare Naked Power Bar um, with the IPF collars. Super thin collars. I used to hate taking it to the commercial gym and hit the upright every time. But this bar is very nice. Um, it's, it's pretty much rusted now. Um, we'll restore it soon, but for the money, $200 bare steel, it's really nice. This is a trap bar. Um, this is a foam roller. You got a kettlebell. I feel like every home gym's got to have a kettlebell. These are Newell Bell adjustable dumbbells. Very fast adjustments that you can make on the fly. Um, super nice. It goes from 5 to 80. Um, and also in white, so it's pretty aesthetic as well. Oh, we got mirrors right here too. We got these from Lowe's. Um, put it on a little frames, hingy thingies. Um, we got our wall control right here with the pegboard. Got our attachments. We got the collars, bands, straps, miscellaneous items. Um, right here is the Titan Fitness Leg Extension Leg Curl Combo. Uh, sucks for leg curls, honestly, because if you're short, you're going to have a bad time with it. But it's great for leg extensions, I will say. Um, under it, we have Jack's Jocks Fitness Dumbbells. Um, five through 50 in like six pound increments, which is weird. Uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's eight through 50, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's, it's, it's weird, right? Starting off at eight. Um, it's nice for what it is, but in my opinion, it's pretty overpriced for when I bought it. I've seen some pretty good deals for it. Uh, but, you know, that could be useful for somebody. And yeah, we also have a treadmill right here. Let's get some cardio in. Um, got this off of Facebook, I think like 175. And a lot of stuff we got here off of Facebook, really. Um, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna do one more pan of the whole gym. It's not a lot of space, but you know, we get it done. So yeah, um, hopefully we'll have some reviews coming in on some products. Really wanna do a review on the new Texas Power Bar, but need to get a few more sessions in before I can have a final opinion on it. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next one. Not a bench.